Hey everyone, okay so today I'm going to be giving my thoughts on the brand new powder from Hourglass and this is the Ambient Lighting Infinity Powder. Now if you buy this product and your expectations are realistic, I think you will really like this product. If you kind of think that you're going to get this incredible luminosity that's just going to power out throughout your face, I think you'll be disappointed. From my point of view, I think this powder is excellent. It kind of blends the ambient lighting powder with a touch of the strobe powder. And you've got this kind of blend of product that gives you this incredibly beautiful finish to the skin. And yes, there is some luminosity to the skin, but it isn't a highlighter by any stretch of the imagination. And you could use this all over to set your foundation, your concealer, really, really nice to set concealer with, or just use it around the face. So I've got some um, foundation on and nothing else. So what you're not gonna see in this video is any real transformation. But what I will see in front of me in my mirror is this subtle radiance that comes with it. So we're gonna use this all over the face and then I'm gonna use it to blur edges of other products. So I'm just gonna take a lot of the product directly onto the brush and I'm gonna just start to dust this right over my face. Now, instantly for me, I'm, it's picking up luminosity right here. That's where I'm seeing it in the mirror where it wasn't before. And I'm just gonna, and I'm, again, right? So as I do this, I'm seeing luminosity right here. So I'm just gonna now dot this around the face and it picks up, for what I'm seeing, just light. There is this fraction of light being picked up, and I love it. So what I'm gonna do is use a blusher. Now this one here is called Iridescent Electra. It is by Hourglass. It's a beautiful product, one of my favorite blushes by Hourglass. So I'm just gonna use this. What I love best about the Hourglass um, ambient products is that there is this incredible subtlety about the products. They're never overpowering to the skin or the face. They don't sit there. They actually look like they're a part of your face rather than it just being makeup sat there. I'm also gonna add the diffused bronze light bronzer, which is this beautiful bronzer here. And I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use a smaller end. And I'm just gonna kind of tap this onto the brush and I'm just gonna kind of work that more in towards the hairline area. And I like the fact that there is still a little bit of the blusher on there, because I just like that. I think it looks really nice. I'm just gonna go over the bridge of the nose, and then kind of in this arc-like motion. Kind of like you've had ski goggles on or something like that. Now I'm gonna take the big fluffy end and I'm just gonna use that very gently with the new powder just to buff away the edges. I love this product. I bought two of them. I think they are so pretty. I have all the ambient products, including the strobing products, and they're all out here. And I, I love them because of the way that they perform on the skin. And inside here is this microfine shimmer that you can barely see, but then it just picks up on the light and it is so beautiful. I really, really like this product a lot. It really does look really nice if you use it to set concealer with or just use it throughout the day to touch up. It's, it's just such a pretty product. I hope that it's being picked up on camera, but if it isn't, what can I do? You know, I'm not a lighting expert. I do have troubles in that area, I'm not gonna lie to you. Anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you all soon, bye-bye.